He's legit. <laughs> you kidding? This is green crayon. Oh, you're fast. Not like that. Just let me check you out. Let me check, check out your chest. Check out your tent. Let me, let me grade your quiz. Whoa. Whoa. What is it? Whoa. Hey guys, how's it going? Jared Bronstein here, and welcome to a top 10 list here for you guys on IO. This is actually a part two to a previous top 10 we did that you guys really seem to enjoy. Make sure you guys are subscribed and click that bell to be notified when we post our videos. And of course, drop us some comments down below with other lists you guys would like to see on this channel. So let's look at the top 10 adults caught posing as children part two. I don't know why, but the title alone makes me feel super uncomfortable. Anyways, let's get into it. Starting off our list at number 10, we got Neil H. Roderick II. This man was arrested in 2007 for pretending to be Casey, a 12 year old boy who is described as shy and an average student with chronic attendance problems. The reason for his arrest? He was under investigation in three different states before he was apprehended in Arizona and charged with failing to register as a sex offender on more than one occasion. He also had a large database of inappropriate pictures and videos of minors, among other disturbing footage of him and a minor. That's not enough to make your stomach turn. This scumbag was living in a home with three other men who pretended to be Roderick's grandfather, uncle, and cousin and were all convicted sex offenders and predators. At number nine, we got Anna Ariola. Hernandez. 24 year old Hernandez was arrested in 2014 and sentenced to 10 years in prison and a lifetime probation after she pretended to be a teenager to try to engage in sexual acts with underage boys. She would pose as a 15 year old girl and use apps such as Facebook, Keek, Snapchat, and Tango to get in touch with the underage boys, with some being younger than 15. When asked, she admitted to preferring younger boys rather than men, but didn't explain why. I hate people so much, guys. In a number eight, the father of a 13 year old pretending to be his child, but he had good reason to do so. And I'm actually extremely happy he did. After the father of this 13 year old saw the messages 29 year old Brandon Ruff was sending his child, the father decided to take matters into his own hands. The minor's father went as far as inviting Ruff over to their home. Ruff was under the impression he'd be meeting the 13 year old he was initially speaking to, but was surprised when the minor's father answered the door. At that point, Ruff was held by the child's father until police arrived to apprehend him. Ruff was later charged with false informing, child solicitation, among a couple other charges. At number seven, Jonathan Elia Nicola. The 29 year old South Sudanese man enrolled and played for a Windsor, Ontario high school basketball team, and when he was caught, he admitted even he didn't know his age. According to Nicola, whenever he would ask his mother how old he was, she would say she doesn't know. What's even crazier is how it all happened. Nicola arrived at Pearson International Airport in Toronto on a student visa to attend Catholic Central Secondary School in Windsor on a full scholarship. According to a spokesperson for the school, they don't offer athletic scholarships, so no one really knows who paid for it in the first place. On top of this, Nicola was only caught because when he applied for a US visitor's visa to play basketball with the school, presumably against American teams. The US Border Services Agency alerted the Canadian border that this man's fingerprints matched that of a former failed refugee claimant with the same name but a different age. So good job, Canada. At number six, we got Patricia Dye, a 31 year old woman who pretended to be a 14 year old boy named Matthew Abrams so she could have a relationship with a 16 year old girl. If this isn't already bad enough, Patricia's parents actually defended the 31 year old daughter. Ralph Dye, Patricia's father, claims the victim knew she was a girl. The family lives together in a motel and Dorothy Dye, Patricia's mother, denied the claim that Patricia and the victim slept in a van together. She argued nothing ever happened and that Patricia slept in the same bed with her, not the victim. I think they're missing the bigger picture here that a 31 year old pretending to be 14 is still extremely illegal. Coming to number five, we got Robert Hunter. Now this guy takes sick to another level. Hunter pretended to be Justin Bieber back in 2013 while on Facebook, Skype, and MSN and typed to speak with his victims claiming his microphone on his webcam wasn't working properly. He most likely used some fake videos of Bieber to lure them at first and when the victims became suspicious, he allegedly threatened to tell their parents after he filmed them doing what he asked them to do. I'm sure you can figure it out for yourselves, but if you guys need any help, this guy is a disgrace to the human race and should be locked up forever, if you get what I'm saying. He was sentenced to 14 years after admitting to the charges laid against him, and hopefully word gets out of what he did while he serves time. These types of guys never do well in prison, if you get what I mean. In at number four, we got the Riverside Cops. I know, cops pretending to be kids? Seems kind of weird, right? Well, think of it like a real life 21 Jump Street, because that's exactly what happened. A total of 25 students were arrested from two separate high schools for selling in a range of drugs from marijuana to cocaine and even some prescription pills. Of those arrested, only two of them were adults, 18 year old Serena Ramirez and 19 year old Eric De La Cruz. All the others were taken to juvenile detention halls and what's even more interesting is that no one on campus knew about the operation until the day before the arrests. According to Jonathan Greenberg, who is the superintendent of the high school district, only three district officials knew about the investigation. So I'm sure the teachers were just as surprised as the students when they saw a handful of their classmates
teammates get taken away in cuffs. Coming in at number three, Justin from Mississauga. This one hits close to home because I live 20 minutes from Saga. That's what Toronto mans call it, Saga. <laughs> anyway, this guy has been considered a vigilante of sorts. Going only by Justin, a 28 year old construction worker by day, pretends to be a miner on dating websites at night, where he lures men trying to meet up with him, assuming he is indeed a miner. He poses as both a boy and a girl, and sets days and times to meet up with these suspected offenders across the greater Toronto area. It started when he posed as a 13 year old girl named Jennifer just to see what would happen. One man drove nearly two hours to meet with him, assuming he'd be meeting 13 year old Jennifer. After that instance, he felt sick and heartbroken someone would actually do that, which inspired him to continue luring these guys so he can expose them. When they show up to meet the miners they think they're meeting, Justin films them and posts the footage on social media to expose them. Some of his confrontations have even led to arrest. So. Keep up the good work, Justin. At number two, 20 year old Ethan. That's what he goes by, and for good reason. He tricked a cop into believing he was a 16 year old girl, and the cop still wanted to hook up with him, or I guess her as far as the cop was concerned. Using the gender swap filter on Snapchat, Ethan set up a profile on Tinder, pretending to be Esther. When Esther got a message from Robert Davies, a 40 year old San Mateo police officer saying, Are you down to have some fun tonight? He decided to roll with it. They started talking on Keek, which is when Esther said she was 16, knowing that Tinder requires you to be 18. When asked if Davies was okay with that, the cop responded yes, even though the age of consent in California is 18. After 12 hours of messaging back and forth, Ethan had enough evidence to submit to Crime Stoppers, which led to the arrest of the now former officer. And in at number one, Gemma Barker. This 19 year old woman disguised herself as three different boys and was dating two girls while pretending to be a boy. Online, she created the identities of Aaron Lampard, Connor McCormick, and Luke Jones, who all had their own Facebook accounts, emails, and phone numbers. Barker had real life relationships with two 16 year old girls and duped them by wearing beanies and baggy clothing to hide her gender. She even went as far as meeting one of the victim's parents, who also fell for the disguise. Barker was eventually caught when one of the suspects thought the boy she was dating looked a lot like the boy the other victim was in a relationship with. The craziest part of the story is Barker actually knew the two 16 year olds before she disguised herself as a boy and started taking them out. Barker was sentenced to register as a sex offender, released on bail, and is being treated for a psychological disorder. And there you guys have it for the top 10 adults caught posing as children part two. Some wild stuff here. Some of these people make me absolutely sick to my core, while others are actually heroes. And I really can't believe there was a cop on this list. Makes you really think about some things, guys. Like, twice, I guess. Anyways, if you guys enjoy this one, give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button and that bell. Make sure you guys let us know in the comments down below if you guys wanna see a part three or what other lists you'd like to see on here. I've been your host, Jared Bronstein, and we'll see you guys soon.